On today's Medical Monday, we're talking foot and ankle surgeries and pain relief. This is what we want to hear, the positive part of this. So that's why it's Dr. Ronald Troxell, board-certified podiatrist from Advent Health, with us today. Welcome, Dr. Troxell. Thanks for having me. I'm so happy that you're here providing relief to everybody <laughs> with foot and ankle pain. But tell me and walk me through your specialty and how are you helping patients? Sure. So I'm a podiatrist and I'm specialized in foot and ankle surgery. So I'm treating anything below the knee, whether it's an acute treatment treatment or it's preventative care. Perfect. And you know, sometimes we get those crazy pains after wearing shoes for so long, specifically women, right? Sure. Bunion surgery, I'm sure you deal with that. And you've brought something here for us to see. Tell me about how you're helping women and men too with these type of surgeries. Yes, yeah, so bunion surgery has, has changed and evolved over the course of the last several years. And um, newer procedures such as lapoplasty are really helping me get my patients back to normal activities and uh, not only getting back to their activities, but helping with decreased post-operative surgical time for weight bearing and allowing more reproducible ways of fixation and decreasing overall rates of bunion recurrence, which with previous surgeries was very, very high. So now with these newer technologies like lapoplasty, we're seeing less than 2% recurrence of, of bunion deformities. Perfect. And tell me when is the right time that you recommend for people to come see a doctor like you? When, you know, when pain becomes too bear unbearable or you're taking too many pain medications, tell me about that. Sure. So pain is also uh, obviously a, a big indication to come see a, a a specialist, whether it's me or somebody else in another field. Um, also for preventative care, so I see a lot of diabetic patients. Um, it's, it's never a bad idea as a diabetic to, to establish yourself with someone who's able to, to see and, and check your feet on a relatively routine basis. Um, uh, work in conjunction with primary care physicians to, to help uh, reduce blood sugars, which can mm -hmm. lead to ulcerations and all sorts of problems for diabetics, with the overall goal being reducing amputations, which is the unfortunate endpoint for, for a lot of My these goodness. ulcerations. Yeah, no, absolutely. And let's talk about injuries. How can we prevent these injuries, specifically with the feet or even the ankle? Because I'm pretty sure you see a lot of those. Sure. So some injuries are just unavoidable. It's part of life. But uh, in general, wearing appropriate shoes, avoiding going barefoot, which is always a struggle I have with my patients here in Florida, um, <laughs> flip flops wearing Crocs and climbing ladders, putting up storm shutters. You know, these are all, always great ways to, to injure yourself. So making simple decisions at home is also very helpful to, to prevent from seeing someone like myself. The flip-flops, I don't know if we're going to follow that to yeah, the T doctor. I have to won't. admit that. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, for heels for women as well. Sure. Tell me about how technology these days are helping podiatrists, surgeons like you. Sure. So technology is utilized pretty much on a weekly basis for me. Uh, anytime I'm operating, um, obviously we see some some models here to, to mm -hmm. demonstrate this whether it's complex deformity correction um, state-of-the-art equipment uh, total ankle replacements which I'm doing uh, now there's there's uh, custom patient specific implants which are designed off of CT scans of the patient so when we're doing and performing these surgeries, we have implants that are specifically designed for that patient. So what that means is decreased operative room timing and also improved results. In addition to that, there's amniotic tissues that we're using, basically stem cell derivatives, which we're finding are showing decreased um, scarring after surgery, decreased post-operative pain, and, and basically getting us to that endpoint that, that we're wanting to, um, to achieve. So there's definitely a solution and hope for people that are suffering from ankle or foot pain at this point. I mean, for everybody. Absolutely. Okay. And of course, it is performed at Advent Health. Advent Health, correct. There you go. Thank you so much, doctor, for providing all that information and for coming to the show. And of course, if anybody would like to hear more information or look for yourself out there, floridaorthoexperts.com with Advent Health for more information.